Extreme Cloud architecture continues to move at cloud speed, committed to continuous deployment and innovation to provide an unprecedented feature velocity and improvements for our customers. Here are the enhancements in Extreme Cloud IQ, March edition. First things first, I'll draw your attention to the new branding. Existing customers might have already noticed this change, but when you log in, at the top of the navigation bar, it notes whether it's Connect or Pilot, and this is depending on your subscription tier. Connect indicates you have a subscription to our free license tier, and this will get you free device management for access points, switches, and routers. This value tier offers baseline capabilities and benefits, but it is limited on analytics, orchestration, and security features. If you see Pilot when you log in, it means you have access to additional features like advanced infrastructure management, reporting, and remediation tools. Stay tuned for more videos covering information about the enhancements and simplification of the subscription tier offerings. Now on to the second update, monitoring enhancements. Last month's video debuted the new topology view. This month, we have enhancements added. For starters, we can now see diagnostics for wired connections between devices, and this is depicted by the solid green line. And by right-clicking on the link between said devices, you'll see detailed information about the port and traffic information, like port speed, VLAN associations, and more. Secondly, added capabilities that were previously accessible in other parts of the GUI are now accessible straight from the topology view. Last month's video introduced the new bounce port feature that could be executed from device 360 tab. Now you can force an AP to reboot straight from the topology view with bounce port capabilities. This will power cycle the PoE power, turning it off and right back on. And finally, you'll find components of topology view visible in the device and client 360 sections as well. You can now see a high level visual of the network topology view right at the top, displaying the topology from the perspective of the device selected. Hovering over the devices displays statistics like the host name, VLAN associations, IP address, and more. Client 360 view, also shows the topology view at the top, but it begins from the perspective of the client selected. You can see the client's health score, the radio mode, and you can see how the client is connected. In this case, it's connected to the AP, which is connected to this branch router. Moving on to the new configuration capabilities available in Extreme Cloud IQ. This month, we have enhancements to the radio profiles. A quick overview. Radio profiles are a configuration object available for admins to define basic and advanced settings of the Wi-Fi radio interfaces for any of the access points in Extreme Cloud IQ. So the first change I'll note is a result of listening to the feedback from our customers. So we got rid of the slider bars that were used for configuration options. Now you'll be able to configure these options with a drop-down menu. We've also rearranged some radio settings from being accessed in device templates. Under Network Policy, you can have multiple device templates for the same model of APs or switches. But if I click on this device template, you'll notice that there are settings missing here, and that's channel and power configuration capabilities. Naturally, they belong under Radio Profiles, and these settings have been moved to Radio Profiles for that reason. First thing you'll see is Channel Selection. It can be selected from here now, and by default, it's on Auto Selection. Secondly, you have Exclude Channel Settings, a setting you may need in situations when you have things like radar interference. So even though the auto selection is on by default, you can still exclude specific channels so that the APs don't choose those channels specifically. Third thing that's changed, transmission power is moved to radio profiles. Along with transmission power control, which is the setting that enables an AP to tell clients to power up or down to match the power level of the APs. This works really well for iPhone client experiences and it helps limit co-channel interference. Moving these settings under radio profiles gives network administrators a streamlined workflow and flexibility to scale objects to a group of devices using cloud configuration groups. And in case you didn't know, cloud configuration groups allow IT administrators to leverage a single global network policy while enabling per location customization for configuration items. And to wrap up the configuration updates, I'll navigate to Devices under the Manage tab. We could all use reminders now and then, and that's exactly what you'll see when on this page. We have always had reminders to assign devices to a floor plan as a best practice. But what's new is a reminder to assign a network policy for a device. So you can take a quick check here to make sure you didn't miss anything when assigning policy or mapping floor plans to devices. Moving on to firmware support updates. Extreme Cloud IQ now supports version 10.1 R2A. 
of IQ Engine firmware for the Wi-Fi 6 APs 305C and CX and 410C. You'll see the new version, perform update, and you're good to go. And finally, we have cosmetic changes to the status cards. They have a sleeker look and more information with hyperlinks to take you where you want to go. Just click on one of the status cards to see the pop-up windows and that's it. Thank you for watching and look for more videos as new features and capabilities are available each month.